This is our 69 Buick Riviera. So this video will cover a few different things. First off, there will be a slow paced walk around of the car. Uh, following that, there will be a second walk around where I'll show close ups of all of the cosmetic blemishes. And there'll be some clips of the interior as well as under the hood. So we are selling this car in consignment on behalf of a local gentleman who has owned it for the last 16 years. Uh, under his ownership, the car served as just a summer toy, uh, spent the winter sitting in his garage. The car was always garage kept, uh, responsibly owned. It's a really interesting color. Uh, it is the original color, though it is a respray. Uh, it's Embassy Gold, which we really, really like. Uh, in direct sunlight, it just is such a, such a striking color. Uh, the interior is buckskin vinyl. I uh, don't believe it's been reupholstered at all. It looks very, very original. Um, and according to the codes on the trim tag, we do know it was a factory buckskin car. Chrome is in really nice shape throughout. Uh, Mirror-like, both front and rear bumpers. The trim is all in nice shape. Weather stripping is good. Really very minimal for oxidation throughout. You'll see the wheels have a really nice finish, uh, polished. Very nice, no oxidation or damage. Uh, tires, not positive as to how old they are, but they're in nice shape, lots of tread, no dry rot. Body's in nice shape. There's uh, a little bit of bubbling that you'll see close-ups of, uh, primarily on the driver's side quarter uh, and bottom of the door, uh, but again, you'll see that close-up in a second. Uh, the top is really, really nice, uh, really no signs of age. The glass and light lenses are all clear and crack free, uh, though the clamshell style vacuum powered flip down headlights up front. The flip down mechanism actually is not functional at the moment. The lights do light up, but they just do not flip down. Uh, there were three available engines for these cars. This one has the middle of the range, the 430. Actually, 360 horsepower and nearly 500 foot-pounds, which was, you know, enormous uh, for the time. Heavy car, but it does pull its own weight quite well. So here are close-ups of all the blemishes. Front end is really nice. There's, you know, minor chips scattered about. up a little very minor scratches and then when you come along you'll see some bubbling at the rear corner of the driver door and then that's actually continued over the, on the quarter on the wheel well a couple light scratches nothing significant uh, obviously the bubbling is more of an eyesore than the minor scratches it's concentrated to the driver's side uh, passenger side nicer And then on the passenger rear quarter is a scratch just over the indicator. And then you'll see a dent there. And then it's got a close look at this rocker. As I mentioned, this side looks better than the other. little minor things. As you can tell, you know, looking over this, the quality of the paint's quite good. Overall, very, very presentable car. Uh, largely original. Nice enough to be presentable, but not to, you know, kill yourself over having to drive it. Interior, nice and clean. Door panels, no kicked open markings. Uh, no oxidation on the window control panel. Steering wheel is free of any cracks. The dash top is really nice with no cracks or damage. Uh, power windows are all functional and they roll up nice and strong. The gauges are all functional. Odometer reads 77 and change. Analog clock is not functional. Power antenna is functional, though the radio is not. And an Alpine head unit has been mounted in the glove box. R12 air conditioning is not functional though the components are present. 
the heat and fan are functional. Uh, all the interior courtesy lights are functional. See so your passenger seat's really, really nice. I mean, really no signs of age on the passenger side. As you come around to the driver's side, uh, you will note a missing button on the driver's seat bottom. As well as just some light wear on the outer bolster. A little tiny bit of fraying there along the crease. Original carpet's in nice shape, just a little bit of fade. Uh, car will come with a set of rubber floor mats as well. You can see here the rear seat is mint. There's some loose material on that flat panel under the rear glass, um, but the headliner is nice and clean and tight. You can see all the courtesy lights are functional. 